Hi guys, so let's now take a look at efficiency ratios, the first one of which is trade receivable days, okay? So efficiency ratios generally uh, enable a business to measure how efficiently it manages its finances and uses its inventory or stock. Now, you don't want to have too much money tied up in stock, as we've said before, but also when you make sales of your stock, if they're via credit sales, then you need to make sure that you're actually getting those debtors to pay up. Those people that are actually uh, owe you money, they need to pay up, and you want that to happen relatively quickly, but you may need to offer some period of credit. Okay, so this is where the trade receivable days is really important, okay? So this measures the average number of days debtors take to pay invoices. Um, now, sometimes firms will offer incentives to, in order to actually encourage debtors to pay up nice and sharpish. So, for instance, they may say, if you pay this bill within 10 days, you get a discount of 5%, something like that. Okay, That can really incentivize people to pay up nice and quickly. Um, now, this is calculated via trade receivables. Okay, So, you take your trade receivables and you divide that by your credit sales. Okay, So, here we've got information. Uh, from, of course, the balance sheet, and here are our income statement, uh, and then this gets multiplied by 365, okay? So trade receivables divided by credit sales times 365. Why 365? Well, because this tells us the number of days it actually takes in order to actually get your average payment from your debtors. Okay, right, so let's just take this little example here. We've got trade receivables at £2,100 and credit sales totaling £40,000 for the year. So this is how much is actually within the business at a given period. Okay, uh, in a given period on our balance sheet. So as we actually input that amount, we can see we simply divide are 2,100 divided by 40,000, and then we multiply through by 365. And that would give us, uh, I believe, uh, about 19 days there, okay? So that tells us that we've actually got uh, an average payment by our debtors of 19 days. Now, if the industry average is perhaps 28 days, well, this would suggest that the business is managing its cash flow quite nicely and it is managing to chase down its debtors quite effectively. Uh, and perhaps there's no need for actual uh, cause for concern or any further action to be taken here. Uh, if, however, the average payment terms is perhaps seven days, then this would actually reflect quite a poor level. So high trade receivables suggest the business isn't managing its debt as well, and therefore it may suffer from cash flow problems. Okay, um, So there's lots of interesting points in relation to this, and we'll build on them in our next video. Okay, thanks guys.